Jacket in here. Welcome back to a video in Alex's bedroom. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you join us from a video technically at home, but we're showing you some clips that we got from a day at Button Willow. It's actually a super fun day. We got to bring the super out, have a little bit of fun, have some track days, have some ride along with friends. But then I got to drive two very interesting cars. First off, we got to drip around in a brand new BRZ at 2022. So first off with the BRZ, very rewarding experience. And honestly, first off, the engine, the FA24, holy crap, might be the best Boxster engine ever. No, apart from the Porsche ones. It's really exciting and really interesting and really invigorated the whole experience of driving the BRZ all over again. And I've driven plenty of the Gen 1 ones, but this one really feels lively. This one feels exciting all over again. You get it on the throttle and it will start pulling. Unlike the first one, which was a little bit gutless. It's super fun. It's a little bit unsettling. I think this car on the SX2 RSs had decent grip, but at the same time, the dampers were on its first day, so it was still doing, doing a setup phase. And so you can tell a little bit of bouncing on the exit of Riverside. But overall, the car was super, uh, super fun to drive and super lively. You could throw it around with the brakes, uh, get some brake rotation going on. Super, super exciting to drive and hang on at the limit. Right after the BRZ, we got to try a modified 2020 Veloster N, the original model with a six-speed manual. Now we've driven the DCT on the channel, but the manual was also quite interesting. And though this one with a little bit of mods and tires was quite different to the one we tried last time. You still have to keep on the throttle, but the throttle works to keep the front diff alive and pull your nose where you want to go. It's such a weird experience in a front wheel drive car where you put the throttle down and the car actually turns better than it doesn't, you know, than, than not uh, most occasions in a rear wheel drive, you know, you don't do that. But the car, the whole experience feels a little bit more composed, you know, you're a little bit more relaxed through some of the fast corners where in the BRZ you have to kind of brace yourself and suck up some confidence. The Veloster N feels just throwing it in and you stay on the gas and you know you will be fine. So it's a very, very confident, confidence uh, inspiring experience, which is slightly different from the lively and the little bit buck wild experience in the FA24 BRZ. The Veloster N still has a little bit of front wheel drive characteristics, which is if you overcharge a corner, well, there's very little you can do. You're gonna have to just hang on and try and not make a mistake, but then when the front's washing, you can't be on the power, you can't really be on the brakes, it's going to wash wide and you know, I made some mistakes. Sorry to the owner, small off, fender liner's dead, I'm sorry. The next couple of times I tried using a curb to rotate the car into Phil Hill, sometimes to good effect, sometimes not quite, as you guys will see, uh, sometimes I have to overcorrect a little bit. Now, track conditions. Track conditions weren't perfect this, that morning. We had a huge rainstorm, but by the time both cars are on track, the track was 98% dry, with the exception of a gigantic puddle in the middle of Cotton Corner, which really kind of screwed up your, your run into a cotton and out of it and onto the kind of into the bus stop <laughs> section. So really, if there weren't that huge puddle, both cars could have gone at least half a second quicker. But with the puddle in the way, we were still trying to sub too. Now the two cars both had about some, some amount of uh, track time for me to, to get comfortable with and then a little bit of cool down and then one final hot lap. So back to back at the same time, this is how they did.
there it is two cars are actually incredibly close and honestly both cars i made a little bit of a mistake on so i'd say really even and even with that big ass puddle had i not made those mistakes i think i could have got i could have gotten both cars under the glorious two minute mark super close though in the end both cars finished right around the two minute 0.49 two minute 0.50 mark uh i wish i wish i was a little bit quicker in both but just not enough so Super happy, thank you for the BRZ owner Sego and Tracy in the Veloster for lending me both cars to drive and letting me go ham and do my thing and sometimes cause a little bit of havoc, sorry. Really, I had a great time uh, trying both cars and sometimes driving a front wheel drive turbo 1.6 versus a 2.4 NA rear wheel drive and seeing the two cars come so close on track in terms of lap time, even though they do it so differently, it's just a rewarding way to experience track day. Thank you so much for watching, and if you want to buy both cars, don't use this as an opinion video. You can find much better reviews elsewhere. I just like driving. Thank you so much. See you all in the next one.